Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss PI-225, Communication and General Navigation. Let's get started. To connect to the unit, bring your laptop running PowerDB and make the physical connection with an Ethernet cable. Once you've done the physical connection, open PowerDB in your computer. Once the software is loaded, look for the SPY icon in the home screen. Once located, click on the SPY icon. The first screen you see after you click on the SPY icon is the instrument configuration. On this screen, make sure use Ethernet and Auto Discover Unit options are enabled. After you click OK on the previous screen, the software will try to search for all connected units to the computer. In this case, I'm running simulation mode, so I'm going to click on Simulate Device. After a few seconds, the software will connect to the SPY-225 and then will show you the home screen. Let's look at the different options we get in the home screen of PowerDB. The first one is the communication icon. Whenever this icon is green and it shows the computer, it means the software is connected to an actual spy. Next to the right is the settings icon. When you click this icon, you will get to the settings screen, which we will cover in a different video. The next button is view report. Once you have run some tests, you can go back to the report at any time clicking this icon. The next one to the right is the lead report. On this option, you get the option to fully clear everything in the report or delete certain sections or certain tests. The next one up is nameplate. On this option, you get the possibility of filling out the nameplate for the circuit breaker under test. The next icon is reset. If you need to reestablish communication to a SPI-225, you can do so clicking this icon. The next button showing the resistance icon will allow you to manually input both insulation and contact resistance uh, test values for the circuit breaker under, under test. If we go down to the primary injection circuit breaker testing section of the home screen, the first button, manual mode, will let you control the unit in fully manual operation. The next option will allow you to define which circuit breaker you're testing from a library of about 7,000 circuit breakers from different manufacturers. And finally, if the breaker you're testing is not in the library, you can still perform the measurements using the generic breaker functions. As you can see, you have the different operations you can test, long time, short time, and instantaneous and ground fault tests. Those are all the options you get in the home screen of PowerDB when you connect to a SPI-225. This concludes SPI-225 Communication and General Navigation. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. 
Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or any support you might need for your electrical testing.